So we've spent a little bit of time lately learning how to create some basic classes. And in these classes, we've given them variables like integers and strings and doubles. What we want to learn how to do now is give our classes instances of other classes inside. And so to just sort of introduce you to this for the next video or two or three, I've created a couple simple classes here. Uh, the first one is person. Uh, there's another class called movie location and lucky numbers now these are going to work together and it's really good if you can actually see the code for this so the project called classes in classes that is provided in the folder you should really pop this one open so if you need to pause the video and just sort of stop and see what i'm talking about at certain points you can do that because if i stop too much to explain uh, and leave the code on the screen this video will take too long so go get that one open now and then we'll start talking about this. Now what you're going to notice here is what you've done before is like made a person. You've given a name, which is a string, and given an age, which is an integer. But what I want to do now is I also want to give every person an object, a movie object, that keeps track of their favorite movie. And I also want to give every person a location object. And the location object keeps track of their location. And another one called lucky numbers, which keeps track of how many and an array of what their lucky numbers are. Because every person has to have some lucky numbers, right? So this is a little different than what you're used to doing. Here's what it looks like in the code. So there's my person class, and I've kept it really simple and clean just for uh, teaching purposes here. But you can see here, here's my basic variable integer age. And then I have the name. I have a movie type called favorite movie, type location called location, and type lucky numbers called luckies. Now there's one thing we have to point out here. When you made this integer age, what you probably remember from earlier lessons is that this age variable gets a default value of zero. It's not the same for strings, arrays, or for other instances of classes like movie location and lucky numbers these things are what they call type reference or sorry reference types and what they do is they refer to a location in memory where hopefully there is an object of that type so when you set up this variable called favorite movie and its type is movie favorite movie can't really be set to a default value of zero that would imply that hey go to memory address zero and you're gonna find a movie object and that's not the case so what does it point to right now well let's do a little runner and see what it does so in my runner I've got this set up here where I've made Paul's a person and I'm gonna to try to print out Paul's age name favorite movie and luckies right which were those three variables now when I give this a run it's gonna be obvious what it says but it creates a person. The age by default is zero. And then you're going to see what it does for the string and the movie and the luckies. It says null, null, null. I skipped location there, but the result is the same. Now, what the heck does null mean? Null means no memory address is set for that variable. So we haven't made that variable point to an object of that type yet. Now, there's two things you could do to actually make those variables point to an object in memory like this diagram is suggesting we don't have these arrows right now right favorite movie is null it is not set to send you to a spot in memory where there's a movie so let's take care of this and I'm gonna do it with location so right here I'll do it down uh, here I'm going to go system out, print line, hey Paul, print out your location variable. Now I know right now that this is going to end up printing, whoa, printing null, because I haven't done anything special. Let me take care of this one in the person constructor. So in the constructor of the person, here's one thing you could do. I could say create a person, and maybe in the constructor you might say by default, hey, Let's set our location equal to a new location object 
and I'm going to give it a city of Vancouver, Canada. Now, once you do this, a new location is made in memory, like this, so floating over there. And that location variable is set equal to that spot in memory. So basically, it points to that object. It's a reference to it. And so now when I do the line in the runner, this one shouldn't print out null. It should actually give me a memory address. So let's check that out. Run file. And there we go. It's giving me the memory address, the location at whatever. Okay, It doesn't really matter where. So that's one way. Now, I didn't print out Vancouver, Canada. We'll show you that in the next video. We're just going the idea here how to set the variables up. Now, to set the other ones up, I'm going to do it a slightly different way, just to show you the different way. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take out this stuff, and I'm going to do a little copy-paste here. Whoops. Let's take those, and let's move those up there. And so now they're above, and let's see what this does. So basically, after I make Paul the person, I'm going to create a movie object. Now, I am familiar with the constructors. That's why we are saying you might have, want to have this file open and pause it and just read those three classes for a minute so you know what's going on here. But I'm going to use the constructor that I give it the name, the year, and the genre. Lucky numbers, just a default constructor. And what we end up getting is a new movie object in memory. Memory address, capital M. Location, I don't have to do, I've already done. Lucky numbers, I make a new one of those in memory. And so now what I have is I have this movie in memory, this lucky numbers in memory. And now all I want to do is set Paul to remember those spots. So, Paul, set your favorite movie equal to M. So, this favorite movie, which was a reference type for a movie, now points to the same memory address as M. I don't need the location line because I did that in the constructor. And, Paul, set your luckies equal to LN. And I'm just going to do that line actually typing it out. Paul, dot. You can see how my things pop up here. Set your luckies equal to the memory address of LN. And so basically what this sets up for us, it sets up this picture. All three of those variables now, favorite movie and luckies, we're just done with our code in the runner, and location, we we'll set the point to location inside of the constructor of the person. And so now the person, in fact, sort of owns, or at least knows about these three objects. So if you want to consider it sort of owns them, not the right terminology, but from a visual perspective, yeah, the person has a movie, a location, and lucky numbers. We give this a run now, and we see that each one does, in fact, point to the memory address of one of those objects. Awesome. Now, we still haven't printed out what the movie was, or Vancouver, Canada, or what the lucky numbers were. So... That's the next video, okay? Which is really easy. It's how to access and change and use those objects now that you actually have them linked. We'll see you in that video.